churches on and the tree Americas, Europe, Africa, and Australia connected in the same doctrine by the Holy Spirit, united by the live word. Brethren of all parts of the world participate in the same service, in the same body, in the same spirit, through the through the streaming services. Brethren from all the planet are in communion, just like the Israelites when they left the Egy when they left Egypt and the disciples before Jesus died on the cross. People from our parts of the world have been reached by the eternal evangelism and the message of the soon coming of Jesus Christ. We greet the brethren with the peace of the Lord Jesus. We are streaming this from Manaí of Domingos Martins. We are having two seminars, beginners and fifth period. And then tomorrow starts the beginners and seventh period. We're going to show some experiences lived by brethren. There was a mini seminar for ushers in, in Spain. And at the end of the seminar, Pastor Jadochi gave a message and also uh, an ev evangeliz evangelization in Lodlis and Alque and, and, and Portugal. There has also been a lot of fruits from from that place and there was also in a in Annadale, Virginia in an old in a senior senior home and also there was assistance by brethren in Venezuela there is a group of people that are in Manaus and Amazon and some items have been donated shoes, <coughs> clothes, food, and as you can see in the pictures, they were sent to the people in Venezuela, Venezuela some, some vegetables, they planted it there, and they sent pictures of these seeds that are already growing food, and the brethren can have more information from this, in this site, from the the Amazon mission of the Maranatha Christian Church. We also had an event which was a gathering of groups of science and faith. They are working on this on this work with science and faith. There was also events in Sao Paulo, Florianópolis. There was a mini seminar in Santa Rita and Minas Gerais. There was a there was a service for the youth in Vila Velha. Also, with there was also a service for the youth in Rio de Janeiro. There was a service with the ushers. There was a special vigil with the families in Vila Velha. There was a special vigil in Niterói, in Rio de Janeiro, and in Sazedo, in Minas Gerais. And then in the 
Manant Supol, the, the city hall, there was a service and a, and a learning project. There was a, there was a graduation service in Valadares and also in São Gortado and also in Barrio da Penha and Governador Valadares. And they always send pictures showing that they are participating in this biblical school. There was also a consecration of a new church in Ulysses Guimarães in the city of Freitas and also in Antonio do Monte. And also there was there was sent pictures from the the birthday of a of a church in São Mateus, in Spirit Santo. Also with the evangelizations in Araruama, Rio de Janeiro, Piabetá, Rio de Janeiro, Esplendor in Minas Gerais, Cariacica, Espírito Santo, also in Chapecó, Santa Catarina, Governador Valadares, Maceió, Recreio dos Bandeirantes, Rio de Janeiro, Paz do Gastor, Rio das Ostras, Caixa do Conde, Santa Inês, in the, the Secretary of Education, the service is with about 2,500 people, there was a service there, also in a hospital in Campina Grande, Paraíba, also in Conde, Mangabeira, all of these in Paraíba. Also in Rio de Janeiro, Macaé, there was a service, evangelization, Vitória da Conquista, in Bahia, in Missão Sertão, which is a project, an evangelization project, in Nordeste, in Canidé, São Francisco, and also in the city of Cicero Bretas, in Bahia. All of these are having evangelizations, and our baptisms, in Baitetuba, Chaxim, Santa Catarina, and Belo Horizonte, in Minas Gerais. Pastor Gilson. Very well, brother, and we are going to give consideration and the information we want to tell the, about the church, the invite that was given by the governor of Espírito Santo of a service, a special service in the governor's palace. And the service will have the name Trumpets in Peace. The governor of the state, he, he asked for this service and we will have there some churches and in a special, in a special hall there will be, there will be a service there in the in the palace of the administration of the government of the of Espírito Santo. And now before the children and intermediate adolescents leave for their classes, we are going to be here and show to our, to our children a, a song from a ch our church in Russia. They're going to sing the song in Russian and in Portuguese. And then after, they're going to show a uh, little presentation and uh, and they're gonna send their salutations to us.
Glory to God. Uh, now they're going to say hi in Russian. We have a group of people here. For, uh, the pastors from, from these children are here participating in our seminar. And they also they wanted to sing here together. Uh, and we are very happy with this participation. Now the, the children, intermediates and adolescents, can go to their children. There was also a song. Okay, we're going to show another song for our children before they go to their classes. Every, every biblical school, we are going to present a new song with animation for our children. So let's now participate. Jesus, the, the children and adolescents can now go to their classes, and we are now going to present in our biblical school uh, something. We're going to talk about science and faith, and we're going to have participations of pastors that are in this commission of science and faith, and for them, and we're going to be passing the word to Pastor Judici to introduce the what we are going to be talking about in the biblical school. Brother and peace of the Lord. Firstly, we want to say that yesterday we had a we had a meeting talking about sensibility. You hear the pastors who were here and this and this what we were talking about was very important and we are now going to talk about a miracle. We are going to talk about science and faith 
in the time that in the restricted time that we have. So we're gonna talk about life and, and blood of, and of this lost thing of the of genetics. We're gonna see if we can accommodate everything in these five minutes. And we're gonna invite now the the group of science and faith, although that we have another group that is present here that are the beginners of this work, the other brethren here from diver diverse people that are here and other visitors that are here as well. And, we, and I'd like to invite the brethren, brother William, Miguel, Eustacio and Tassio. They're gonna be here and then we're gonna start it if we have time. Each one of them wants to s needs to say something about about this, and so firstly, that is in my obligation talking about faith, faith that we already know, the biblical test that is already known. I just want everybody to read it, just so we remember. Hebrews, eleven one. Now is the faith substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And it is here in Russian as well. Well, let's say also what we need to understand in the most simplest form is that faith in its origin in the Old Testament, you're going to encounter faith in its origin. And it was through a pact. God establishes a pact with man and he uses the fi figure of Abraham. And we know the story of Abraham and how he listened to the Lord. And I'd like to say one thing. I want to leave very clear that obedience goes right along with faith. There's no faith without obedience, okay? So that is the biggest thing we need to learn. There's no faith without obedience. And there's no obedience with, without faith. And so Abraham, he leaves and he, and he goes through his objective. He leaves his, we can put it right here. This is the map right here. You see the, the arrows. It is really small, but we can see. So he starts here in Babylon, and he goes up. He goes to Jerusalem. He leaves a mark. He receives a mark there in Jerusalem, where it is where he encounters our Melchizedek. And there was a big signal there, a prophetic signal there, which referred to the the high priest it talks about the Lord as the high priest. He had a prophetic signal of the bread and wine. Abraham went, went back, stopped in Hebron, and he made there his. He does not go in Jerusalem, wanting to dominate Jerusalem. But what was important was the obedience, the pact of God, and in this case, faith, where he was with Abraham. Let's make an observation. In the Old Testament, faith was not clear. It was not manifested in a clear way. In the New Testament, it was called imputation. And Abraham, all of those in the, in the gallery of Hebrews, it was imputation. Look, you, you, you speak very well, and so I think you are a great lawyer, and I'm going to call you a lawyer. That is not imputation. I consider you in this way, 
for what you present, not for the title that you have. I am the one that is giving it to you. So when I see in these texts, in Hebrews, there is an imputation of Abraham through faith. In Abraham, he, he finishes every single objective. And so we are later going to encounter the ministry of Jesus, firstly the Father, and now the Son, the ministry of, the, of Jesus, the Son, and his, and his ministry here. And he shows men of, men of low faith. If he had faith like a grain of mustard, so now in the, not even in the Old Testament, not even the apostles knew it. But then Jesus, the author of faith, he begins to give instruction of faith. And so the faith of Jesus finishes also with obedience. And with obedience, Jesus, he, he gives him, he is always obedient. And that is the real faith. And what interests us now? It is the faith that is related with the church. And so this faith is related with the project of the Holy Spirit. And so first the Father, second the Son, and for the church. It is a project that is established by the Holy Spirit. And where are we going? To eternity. So let's see. Our walk, our journey, it is of obedience to the Holy Spirit. If, there's, if obedience doesn't exist to the Holy Spirit, there is no faith, then it is done. Then faith is done. Okay, now science. So we have here various deacons, pastors, brethren that are part of this group of science and faith. That's a day. It is the big, uh, they have a big capacity. They have brethren here that have, that are researchers and, and mastered and both post grads of, of various universities here in, the, in Brazil and even in other countries. So now first, Brother Moivio is going to say something about life. So we're going to talk about faith and life. The faith that is, that is the life, life and spirit, and the life that we live, that we are all here alive, living. So now we're going to turn Brother Moivio. If it goes past that time, I'm going to ask you to stop, okay? Okay, so let's go. You can talk. I'm going to repeat in, in Job. The word says, in Job 33, Verse 4, the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. And so, very quickly here, Job was going through many afflictions. He had lost all his, all his goods, and he had lost his sons. And then Job's friend, he was trying to console him, saying that there was a God, uh, a great God that was there. That he was, and so in other things, God was the one that created all things. And it's, it's said there in verse 4, that the Spirit of God has made me. And uh, it's saying that he had made jo job. And so science, science uh, talks about all these complexities and, and all its processes of investigation. It gets to some conclusions but since it is in the limit of the of the fourth the fourth method at a certain point it cannot explain things for example the origin of life and how life originated in the planet we have a slide that I don't know if, if it is possible to put here and science it talks about uh, chemical evolution, and it talks about how life started in our planet. And, it, and the name of this is 
and then a really long time ago, science said a million years ago, in the atmosphere of our planet, it is very different than what it, what it is today. And the mixtures of gases aligned with 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 scarlets, and it is and it is talks about molecules that were formed, organic molecules, millions of years. And then this gave origin to other molecules until first forming the first cells. And then after another million years, we have all the forms of life that we have now. So when we listen, a theory like this, we can think that like this boy is thinking right here, a rock that it is then it's just matter, it is has no life, one day became life. So the matter that was not alive, one time became alive. So he's thinking, is there a possible way that this rock became a plant or or a flower or 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 even a, an animal like a butterfly? But even more complex than what a rock is? Is there a possibility that it was just like this? It is interesting that when we see this in the word of the Lord, especially in the in Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, and then God said, let the earth bring forth grass. And so this science is right with, with in, this, in this sense. Because live the dirt or sand or the ground it is not alive and then and then grass and then grass says but we know that faith the faith in which the ground bef became grass it is in the power of God's word because as it says here then God said so God he ordered things to happen and they happen, including life. And so, and it says, then God said, let, and then in Genesis 1.20, then God said, let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. And then the non-life gave way for something that is alive and it is through God all things are sustained by the word of God by the word of his power very well the word now to brother Dr. Miguel he's going to speak about something that is related to life life and brethren and the uh, and the human body so what we have here it is the comparison of the biological blood that circulates in our organism with the action of the holy spirit typifying the blood of jesus and so now we are gonna apply a practice so Brethren from Paraná, they sent a contribution that the body is alive and it is attentive to what the Lord has revealed. And then talking about the uvula, which is the organ that produces, produces blood. And when it is healthy, it is going to it is going to make it so that the blood is constantly moving and in the body and so th and so the body still is alive and so when when this part of your body is, is sick it becomes producing cells that are going to be al alternated and so they're going to compromise life and it's not it's not going to be good so these the treatment the techniques it is already well known but what do, what do we do for someone that is sick 
the per person that is a receptor, you need to have someone that can donate this. And so someone that donates this, it has to be pure. They cannot have any type of They can't drink or, or smoke or anything like that. They can't have anything they're addicted to. And it has to be so this person has to find a donor. And so this donor does it through love, this donation. And the receiver that is sick, the first thing that has to be done is the removal completely of this, of this part of their body. And then when the, once the transplant is made, when the person receives it from the from the donor, there is a transformation. The cells begin to be produced, and so when the transplant is made. It is not going to be the, the marrow that is in the blood. And then it will now be the, the DNA of the person that donated it. And this new, this new marrow will generate this, this new song, and it will be the DNA from the donor's person. So it will get to a point in which the marrow and the and the blood that they need will generate life. And so we had a marrow that we we had a life that would take us to death, and we found a donor, which was Jesus Christ, and He sent His pure Spirit, san sanctified. And when we receive this action, our marrow, it is not what it was before. You, you don't see sin or, or lying. We have a new marrow, a new, a new, and a new way that is going to give direction for our lives, which is, which was given to us by the donor that did it through love, and now we have this new blood, and it is not the biological blood; it is the eternal blood because salvation is a mystery of life that it was proclaimed up by the Holy Spirit and revealed by Jesus. And so there is a situation, a child, and she had leukemia, and the, and the family was looking for a donor, and they were, they were looking in the whole world for someone that could donate this, this marrow that had this pure, that was not addicted to anything. They found someone, a soldier, in another country, and he was, and he was okay with donating his marrow for the sick child through love. And this child that was going to die, she received the treatment, and she, and she was renewed, and she was, she was okay. And that child, he, she, she wanted to meet this donor, and so they, they marked an encounter. And the uh, child wanted to encounter the, the donator, she didn't know who it was, and one day encountered her. When they encountered each other, the donor went and hugged her, and now are you good? And he gave me life. I can't stop hugging him because he gave me life. He donated to me. I gi he, he gave me life. Today I have life, brethren. The Holy Spirit, he tr transformed us. We live by faith. But the day that we are in eternity with him, we are going to hug him and we are not going to want to let him go. Our Lord and Savior that sent his spirit to give us life. So this life of the Holy Spirit that moves the whole body, that now proclaims Jesus is coming and is going to take us to eternity. Praise be the name of the Lord. It's not too hard to understand science of faith, right? Now I want to go to go give the word to our brother and pastor. And we have here what he graduated from, various 
various courses in other countries as well. We want to show here the titles. It is not that they are asking for this, but we put it just to to show that the other brethren, the people that are watching, can understand that we know that everything that the word is the world is talking about. The specialty of the pastor here is genetics. And so we are going to go now to the genetics of Abraham. Peace of the Lord, brother. Go slow, okay? Go slow. <laughs> I'd like to read a text that is in the in First Corinthians. In chapter 15, verse 45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. And so we are talking about here the inheritance of, of information that is given through generation and generation. And so you see, you see characteristics characteristics in a child from their mother, their father, or their grandpa, because each person has a different amount of genes. And this is the genetic. And so I know that I'm certain that if the body of Adam was preserved, and we can go see Adam, and we can go see his genes, we could see a big difference from Adam's genes and our genes. And why? Because the difference, they had, they had a time of life, and after, after man's sin, the, the time of life just went decreasing, and so now there it is very differently. So now in, in our genes, we have viruses and things that cause cancers and and many problems. So, and morally and genetically, the we see that man just goes down and down. And so there is a genetic, a human genetic, that we physically, we cannot change this. We can, we can get, we get older and we die every day. But through the Holy Spirit, we can reach a new genetic, a new genes. And that is what the text says here. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. But for, he had a great blessing, but but with disobedience, man went through this process of just going down. But then God proved the last Adam, which is Jesus Christ, which is the vivifying spirit. And so we know here that we have this blessing of a spiritual genetic that comes from eternity. And this is never going to degenerate because the word of the Lord says that Jesus is the same of yesterday, today, and will be eternally and that is exactly what Jesus does when we have difficult times we have we are annulled we are trans transformed in new creatures so that now we can have this new project this new this new value and this new spiritual value which is the value of eternal life and so now when we see man just going down God changes our luck and he puts us back in the way of life, which is the eternal life in the presence of the Lord. And so the central point in this, God made us new creatures. And so it annuls every single thing that is, that is in this so that we can now live this blessing that we, that we encounter the Holy Spirit that comes from the Lord that takes us to eternity. Very well. Brethren, the pastor talked about genetics. We have a new, we have new genes. So without these new genes of eternity, you are not going to get there, right? So the blood of Jesus brought to us the genes from eternity. So when we talk about Abraham, Abraham said, Elijah, that it was like the type of the Holy Spirit, you, he told them to go bring 
a wife for my son Isaac, which is the type of our, of the church, of our family, of our genetics. And so the church has the, the genes of like Jesus and the Father because we are a family, we are a family chosen by this. So our genes are the ones that are going to say if we are from the kingdom, the eternal kingdom, or if we are from this life. And so this word is one more time marvelous and we, we are thankful. I'm going to give now the, the word to the Pastor Tassizia and we are going to talk about these, these genes that are lost from many different things. Well, brethren, peace of the Lord. And so now just to follow the sequence here, we see that the that man it loses through disobedience this identity that he had received from the Lord. And what is interesting is that this identity he loses because he is disobedient in from an order of the Father. And so during his life, we see that he continues lost. And we see in Genesis 3, verse 9, Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? And so now when he loses this identity, through disobedience, man cannot be found. He is lost until today. He cannot find explanations to basic questions from where he came from to where he is going uh, to where he is and where he is going. Man cannot understand this. And this loss of, res of reference it is in everything. Is in a social life. Is it? It is in in science. And we talk about science where they always need a reference to elaborate a project. So the brethren that said here, they talked about some some things that talks about science and which possibly were were treated through through people that that researchers that had a base on something else. And so man uses its references. But the problem is that through eternity, man cannot find in this, in this, in this life, you cannot find something from, from the living, from the living, the living work. You cannot find something that takes you to eternity. So if you could project here, Hebrews 11, 11, Hebrews 11, 3. By faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And so, in this, in this created work, you cannot find anything about the work of the Lord. But the Lord gives this to the church so that we can be identified as servants and as sons of the, of the Lord, sons of God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. It is fast, right? Brethren, we have now five minutes until we finish our seminar. But the brethren that are still in our churches and the pastors, we can finish. We can finish the, the things that were brought here to our brethren two deacons, two pastors that are here. And so today, the deacons started working. We cannot say anything bad about deacons anymore. We can now say in the text of Job, which is the message for tonight, At Job 33, 4, the pastor can preach today. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me love. And it's the life that is talked about, about, not just the life that is talked about here, but the life, the eternal life, which is Job 33, Job, John, no, 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 Job.
what they're showing there is wrong. It's Job 33, verse 4. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see. If we can complicate this, why, why, why make it easier? If we can make it more complicated, job, job, job thirty three four. Look, <laughs> look, look at this. You there, that you are putting the wrong things here. <coughs> That's why we get these things wrong. We always put the fault in other people, right? Yeah, that's it. I already told you, you just woke up. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do here. They just put the fall on someone else. Yeah, we see if the faith is working. <laughs> this is brother, we are finishing our seminar. And the brother and our are seeing what is important to all of us. We could not we could not um, go without presenting the this big group of people from Russia. Some people came from the United States and the others came from Russia, from Moscow, from other cities. And I just wanted them to stand. Stand, yep. Yep. Stand. Gr the, the group we are very happy that they are here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You guys can can wave. <laughs> we did everybody see it? Everybody, Brazilians like this. If I present present them, if they didn't see your face, no, that is something else. The brethren of the the Russian can sit. Now the people from Austria and Hungary. The people from Austria can stand and the people from Austria and Hungary can stand. I just want to make a pastor from Austria. I just want to make a reference to him. Okay, please. I have a word uh, talking about his presence here. The pastor from Austria. In the beginning of the church and the work, we had the visit here of a youth. Her name was Beatrice. She came with her brother. They were from a family, uh, from a very rich family. And the father, he gave, he gave them, gave them something so that they could come to Brazil and go to the north part of Brazil. They bought properties and and farms for the experience. They bought machines and it happened that there was a, a political period in, uh, in the country and where it was our territory and but then, but then finally they put fire in the property, destroyed the everything that they had and she and she went through Brasilia, and we had a sister there that we don't remember her name. And this sister brought her to to the work. She she was revealed to the work here, and then she left. She went she went back to to Austria to where she lived, and the time passed. Maybe. 30 or 40 years and I was always thinking we can do we not have any reference in Austria I always thought and even a certain form and always thought of Beatrice and then another day Pastor Gilson and Pastor Alexander they they were talking and they talked about a person and then I said Beatrice, and I said Beatrice, and then and then they said, yeah, Beatrice. How did you know her? And then I remembered Beatrice. But the fact is that she began to go to one of our services in England, 
in England, right? Yeah, in English. She went to one of our services in England. And she began to go to the church. And she talked about the work that the pa of the pastor is here. That is there, this very nice guy. And now I want him to stand. This very nice guy, yes. He came to visit us. He is a, he is a pastor of a church in in Vienna. A church of a, uh, a big a reference church uh, that has a large group of members. And he came here to learn about what Beatrice went and and took to him. So this is a story of this work. We are not worried now for about names and, is and institutions and, and different churches. We are we are together through spirit. We always said here of the people that we are looked for by evangelical groups, but we say, you know, wait, okay, you do this. We have our orders. You can go to the churches, to the services, the seminars, and even pastors, even pastors that they think that they want to be part of the church, of the Maranatha church, but we do not have the place to put these people. We are not worried about names. We don't have a, a world leader. We have a group of brethren, servants of God, that think the same way, that have the same doctrine, and the same spirit, and, the, and all of this is important because they are part of the great of the great multitude that we are, that they are, and want to be in eternity. And so what we worry about is not to create a uh, uh, different church and groups. There is no more time to do these things. Th this doesn't exist. And today we have an organization that is necessary because it presents itself to the world that is in a certain way that is united to tell to the word the world that to tell the world all the messages that that they need to hear so now we have this reference of the brother in here that let's say with extreme happiness that we did not want to not present him we we wanted to present present him so i just want to tell the brethren that we are we are in some different countries we have a group and in the month of march of of representatives and pastors of of five countries in Africa in 54 54 countries there are still three or four that are not in our map but the rest are all in our map of the work of the spirit and we are seeing we are seeing that the work is growing very growing a lot in the African country and this makes us really happy because not the fact of the origins, black or, or non-black, but we just know that it is a big, big country that they need the blessing of the Lord. And so we are finishing now, brother. I believe now that the pastors are gonna, are gonna end the service and they're gonna end this word from our brethren just wanted to say to all a peace of the Lord and so now the church and already come downstairs. Amen. Let's have a sing.
Let's stand. Let's pray for the children. Lord, we ask for a blessing from your part, Lord, for your children. We ask that your word could continue in their hearts. We ask that they can put it and use it, put it in their hearts, leave it in their hearts, and they can be used in their lives. We ask also for their health. We ask you to, we ask that you may may put away all bad things, Lord. We ask that you may operate in their homes, that everything that they do, they can do for the praise of your name. That is the prayer that we make in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, we pray and give our gratitude and thanks. We thank you for your grace. We give, ask that you give us a day of peace. We ask that you may be in our lives and revealing your project for the service tonight. We praise you by your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we say that the marvelous grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our our good our good father and the eternal and kind blessings be with all of us now and forever amen the brother may be seated we are going to be praying for the health of some of our brethren we all know especially our our sister Benya and her sister yaya that did the surgery and uh, they may be that they can be recovered fully and we ask also for our church in Port St. Lucie we ask for your that everybody may be praying for this church that there may be salvation of lives and experiences and that uh, there can be more people saved and that the Lord, the Lord can keep blessing the assistance there and also the church in Coral Springs we need to pray so that the Holy Spirit can go talk to the, to the mayor and say, let my people go. We need an operation from the Holy Spirit. We need to take Moses there and say, let my people go. Because the people need to serve. The Lord has already separated a place of, of praise. Amen. This miracle has to happen this year so if it doesn't happen it's our fault peace of the Lord meeting with the group C and so we have also a group the, the spirit of God made me and the spirit of life had the revelation here and we are thankful peace of the Lord